Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's episode, I'll be discussing on the latest development on the six-month statement for Dubai visa. So just in case uh, you're trying to apply for Dubai visa and you realize that there's a new requirement for Dubai visa in Nigeria. So now this is why I'm making this video. Now, if you are yet to subscribe, please, it doesn't cost you anything. Just click on the subscribe button. Also, if you find this video useful, just smash on the like button so that, I mean, this video can go viral. And if you have anyone that is planning to go to Dubai, please kindly send them this video. So um, the more you share, the more it helps people. So now let's get into it. Firstly, I made a video earlier this, uh, like last month, um, stating that um, Nigerian citizens were banned from video by yes, that happened. And we've, I did an update to that video telling you guys that now Nigerians cannot apply for Dubai visas, but now with some kind of strict requirements. What are the latest requirements for Dubai? So number one, you need six month statement. Secondly, you need a return ticket and thirdly you need to book hotel reservation so now let's talk about the six month statement so now just in case you're conversant with um travel six month statement now this one is not really as serious as the six month statement for the likes of canada or um, or uk so your statement still needs to show that you have enough evidence like enough cash flow to sponsor your trip so now just in case you're wondering how much do i need um you need minimum of at least um, because based on what we've tested, we've tested 1.5, it went through. We've tested a, about a million naira, it went through. We came downwards a little bit, we tested 900,000, it went through. So for single applicants, if you're traveling to Dubai, just to be on the safe side, you can have between 900 to 1 million naira in your account. So it doesn't matter whether you've been maintaining the account for six months, you can just uh, do a six month statement showing your savings between a particular month and the latest month that you're traveling. But just make sure that you have enough funds in the statement but again it's still 50 50 but based on what i've seen in the last couple of weeks so everyone that i've done they all came out but you know sometimes you, you have to understand the fact that um whether you be accepted or denied it solely depends on the hands of the immigration so now secondly the hotel reservation so people are asking do i need to make payment for the hotel do i need to pay for the hotel now um again for we've tried several ones we paid and we decided not to pay so now but for the ones we paid they all went through the ones that we just did a demo booking so which means we didn't pay for the reservation but we just um had a reservation with a hotel in dubai so it also went through so which means you don't have to pay for the hotel you just have to do like a reservation now thirdly the flight tickets now this is another thing that people have been asking do i have to book the flight again it doesn't make sense because um if you book the flight 100 percent and the visa gets rejected you don't have to start battling with the airline to get back refunds. This is why we did a demo um, flight ticket again. So which means we did a reservation. We didn't make payment. But still, that came out. So which means, note, the six-month statement is not very serious. But you need to have enough fund in the account. So secondly, the hotel reservation should not... You don't have to actually pay for the hotel. But if you can pay for the hotel, fine. And thirdly, the ticket. So you don't have to necessarily pay for the ticket. You just have to, you know, do a demo booking so just think so now for those that are planning to visit dubai for jobs again work permit is not available for nigeria so don't let anybody tell you otherwise currently dubai is not currently giving work permission so if you are planning to go to dubai in search of jobs just step back if you have money to do what is called the residence visa you can also actually apply for the residence permits um, it's called the partnership visa if you, if you can afford it it's just another very great option but if you can't afford it please don't waste your money trying to go and also in dubai it's just going to be a total waste of time you end up wasting your money i've seen people that actually went there waste, wasted over 1.5 million era or 2 million and still came back empty and dead so it doesn't make sense so it's better to be sure of what you're going to if you if all you have is 1.2 please you can look for other countries to travel to but not dubai right now if you're going there to search for jobs so um again for people that are planning to renew you can always renew it's actually going through lastly feel free to you know, apply for dubai visa it's actually going through right now uh, and if anybody tells you it's not i mean i don't know what to say about that but now um you can actually apply concerning the underage or overage and all those kind of stuff so again we've tried for underage it went through but again it's still under 50 50 right now because there's a likely chance that you get a visa but um i've done for underage but he was a married person so he went with his wife for honeymoon he went through um i've also done for another underage he had enough money in his account it went through but like i said it's 50 50 so we feel like you need to visit and you're trying to you have um everything to show that you have enough money 
you can actually try it out so um that's all i have for you today so if you're yet to subscribe kindly smash the subscribe button click on the notifications icon and also don't forget to share there's love in sharing man and give this a thumbs up let me know your mind let me know your thoughts on this i mean it gives me idea that you're actually you know watching this video so see you guys next time bye